um, we've been tricked. This whole good and evil stuff. Father God from above, yes. But not evil from beneath. Mother God from beneath. We've been deceived, and the red and the blue applies to blue the father, red the mother. So, both good. Both choices. Still good. And that is happening, by the way. People are facing this choice. Through me. <laughs> Come in here, some of you. I can let you in here as well. Even if you start here. <laughs> and I realised this just as the devil, the, the first one who chose to be evil, the head of it all, And I felt him, and I had pity for him, because of the hate he has. But I showed him to God, and I showed somebody else to God as well, who also tried to make me think they were God, but they couldn't enter me. Only God can enter me. Only God can enter you. Like in that same straight into the heart of your soul. And you feel it in your heart. And um, it tried to trick me by putting images in my mind. And I usually would um, accept if I'm thinking of things. I won't judge myself for thinking of it. So I'll, I'll go with it. So I won't just disregard things straight away. But it was definitely sent of a, as a diversion to me doing the work I was just doing. And then, you know, God showed me. <laughs> God really is by um, allowing me to go through and feel some emotions. And when you're doing that, there's... There's absolutely no doubt. And um, there's no doubt either when, because I was feeling this heavy presence and I was like, I want to feel you stronger and stronger before I start feeling Mother God. Because I wanted a stronger feeling, I suppose. That's a little um, injury as well, isn't it? So, anyway, um, eventually I realised it can't enter me, it's not entering me like, like God's love does. And then I twigged, it's not God then, is it? Right, so, you know, it can get fooled, but not for long. <laughs> and then, that's an opportunity then as well, to show God to them, and again, that kicked off some emotion to be felt in me and that was the first one was much stronger sort of waves of shame in a sense because let's say you know the devil the first one who chose to go evil let's say it was Noah and all this time he's been the main instigator of evil doings, but it sort of collated and collated and collated and got bigger and bigger and it's not going to be good for his soul and so there's going to be a lot of hate in there but um, I'm sure there'll be some compensation for Helping to shorten the days, which has been God's um, God's intentions, 
to to have this all done and completed within six thousand years and it without these twerks here and there of God's plan and God the Father is the planner and God the Mother is the creator and um, so so there will be some compensation for 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 that particular person who instigated quite a lot of this there'll also be you know hard stuff as there will be for everyone um, so so I was just making that point that um, you know God won't leave anyone behind not, not a single soul every soul will be saved because you're not necessarily um, responsible for the body that you you inhabit and if you're you know an earl or the son of someone destined to go to Eton school or whatever and you're going to be put in positions of responsibility but be miseducated as most we all have been pretty much almost um, you know it's not necessarily your fault that you will develop a way of having no empathy and do things which are bad so you know everyone's probably going to get roughly the same amount to be honest it's probably pretty even as what our soul has to feel. <laughs> Getting a bit out of it. So the main thing of this was, because I'm not doing any more long videos, so the main thing of this was basically Father God from above, Mother God from beneath. So imagine your soul use those words because those words really help they sort of trigger the feeling quite well they put it perfect so from above from beneath it's both god father mother blue red got it chills so serious serious shit <laughs> and value your bodies these um in compared, for, compared to spirits, um, our bodies, we possess a power that spirits don't have. Obviously, I can pick up a chair and throw it. But there's something more than that. I'm not quite at the bottom of it yet. But um, it's where smoking cannabis comes in. And fire being the fourth element. And in the Genesis, it's uh, Adam and Eve... Um, Um, you know, it says, don't eat from the tree of fruit of uh, knowledge. Don't eat the fruit of the tree of knowledge. Could that have meant, actually, you should smoke it? And if you think about the cannabis, it's the flower and everything. It's the most ideal thing to smoke and has the most beautiful aroma. Fifth element fire, our body, the temple, using the tree of knowledge. And if it's good natural stuff, it's like the holy grail or something. And this is the lie, you know, the lie, the Bible has been kind of tampered with. So, in a sense that is trying to sort of tell the truth but to tell a lie whether that's just been the translations or well you got you got to see what I'm, to, what I'm talking about here this Noah from the spirit world 
called himself the God Jehovah and was influencing the Egyptians, you know, all their pharaohs, um, because he divided his children, Ham, Shem, and Japheth. And he was the, the God Jehovah. And then Abraham get to the God with no name. And that was when the real God stepped in. You know, because of Noah having done what he did, in a sense, pretending to be God from the spirit world, um, the real God then was given a... Well, perhaps God was going to do it anyway. Perhaps God knew what was always going to happen anyway. Because actually, yeah, I thought about Abraham being the one of the Christs and that there are seven Christs starting with Adam, if you like, because he, ha he was with God. And so God has visited every thousand years to, um, you know, affect things a bit, you know, uh, shorten, help shorten the days again, one of the other things to do that. And so the next one could have been, um, what's his name, Krishna. That, so that would have been um, 3000 BC. 2000 BC, Abraham. 1000 BC, David. Zero, G Jesus or Yeshua, which we could, should call him. Um, and then um, Francis. And then Stephen. And if you're praying to Jesus Christ, you're praying to the living Christ. Jesus means hail Zeus. Zeus was the god of the gods. Because after once they had knew the god of no name and the power, you know, the volcanoes that he could do, you know, who else could do that? So, you know, Noah wasn't capable of that. So, once they knew the power, it's probably Noah with his soulmate as well. They're probably both, because Jehovah is the, like the man and the woman's changed his name. Yeah. Anyway, was I? So yeah, you're praying to Jesus Christ, Zeus, God of Gods. So they they had twigged back then that you know there were all these gods, but hey, there was one god, one god with no name, an invisible god. Because the others um, would appear to people in visions. I am God, right? But, you know, people were people who people who can see spirits. You know, I can't, but I can feel. And feeling is better because feeling is just true. You can't falsify it. Feeling soul to soul is the way, really. Because, yeah, you can't be bamboozled as you can with visions and pictures and things. So, oh, where was I? Wow. Um, so, you know, I haven't really smoked that. I mean, the cannabis really, really does help. But it's not, <laughs> you know, I have days when I'm not getting anywhere. Once, you see, once you start to hit on some sort of truth, you feel something. And it's like, your body is a, your body becomes like a, a signpost of truth. And you can do a lot with that. And you can heal it. You can heal it by allowing to feel. So feeling comes. It's an unpleasant one. But just think, you know, this isn't actually in my body. That's what you got to think. This feeling I'm feeling, this tingling sensation, this whatever, you know, is in my soul. It's on a dimension. 
same dimension as God is on. And therefore, feeling on that dimension, God can become absolutely abundantly clear. And um, could you feel your soul without believing in God? Well, I guess you could, and you could feel love from others. You could do all that. You could feel things from others too. But, oh, wow, well, when you're open to God... Uh, it's all clear sailing there but what happens is you sometimes slip out of feeling so you're sitting there feeling and you kind of slip out of it and you think you're still in it you can't try and try and as soon as you're trying you're not you know you're losing it at that point so it's all about letting go and allowing and you know and the best way to start it is by just sitting there doing nothing So, uh, choose blue or red, no matter. <laughs> I hope I said what all I meant to say. Okay. Ciao. Bye.